um, we were looking at um, uh, what was it? Oh, uh, Tisha in in the town hall. John, what year was that? Albert? Where are you sitting up there? Huh? Seventy. Was it 70? Oh, okay. Wow. And when he comes out the second time in the costume, the same Larkin shouts from the back, the balcony, up in the back, again? <laughs> again? <laughs> Lovely. So, oh God, yes, the late Horace James in an adaptation of Chekhov the Bear, the, the Bear, I must say something about Horace here. Horace, uh, when, when Tony and I uh, started to, or we felt we could put on a season, do you remember? And at the same time develop the beginnings of an infrastructure, like advertising space in the papers for publicity and so on. And Derek Walcott wrote pantomime for inclusion. Yeah. Well, when we were trying to do that, and I was the producer, and you know, like, who tells she to do that? Um, <laughs> I was freaking out completely, and we had been asked to a cocktail party um, at the British Embassy, I think. And Rudolph Walker, was that him? Yes. Yeah, Rudolph Walker was there, lovely man. And um, I went up to Horace and I said, Horace, um, Albert Lavoie is supposed to direct uh, Freedom of the City, but he would like to play. And um, somebody else was supposed to do something else, I can't remember or somebody dropped out of something. And I said, I don't know what to do. You remember Horace, he's doing the beard, right? Helen, you know, I'm the producer. I hire the director. If the director can't do it, I direct. Okay. <laughs> As the director, I hire the actors. If the hires are bad, the, the actors are bad, I fire them. And I, and I, and I act. <laughs> so that was the biggest lesson I ever learned. <laughs> and actually it suited my personality so good. <laughs> and I really want control, right? 